Rajas of Indochina's new mod that expands Southeast Asia. Using the Miller cylindrical projection, which claims to make the world map a bit more realistic with sizes and proportions of the countries. But is it any good? And should you check it out? Quickly before we answer that question, I just wanted to say if you're new around here, consider subscribing for showcases of Crusader Kings 3 mods and more. When I first seen this mod while looking through the workshop, I thought it would be a separate map that just included Southeast Asia. I was super excited to see they actually extended it onto the vanilla map. It is early into development as it's just released with many plans for the future which I can't wait for, but more on that at the end. So far they've included one start date and that is 867. And it has two suggested characters that for some reason on this screen look like topless vampires, but in the game they look like normal characters so don't worry about that. But no more of that, let's get into why this mod is worth your time. It expands the Kingdom of Tibet by adding more land to the south which connects to the new empire of Indochina, which is pretty big and that contains 11 kingdoms all the way down to Malaysia. The other empire introduced by this mod is the Kingdom of Srivijaya, which spans from Indonesia to the Philippines. And that has 9 kingdoms included and as you can see some of Indonesia is still mapped out but there's no land being placed as of now. So I just want to quickly mention one of the kingdoms in Indochina, the Kingdom of Annam Protectorate, which later would be the Dai Viet which was a Vietnamese kingdom from the 10th century AD to the 19th century. Which just goes to show the attention to detail and you see how much research they've done while making this map. I really can't wait to just start a character and have a proper playthrough in the new lands. If you're looking for a mod that doesn't change the mechanics of the game but you want some new experiences, it really could be a great mod for you. And like always, link down below in the description. Currently, it includes four new culture groups, the two biggest being Mon Khmer, which is in the areas around Thailand and has a few different subcultures, included such as Mon and Naya Khir. The other being Austronesian, with the Malay culture, which is giant, taking up most of the south. The other two cultures are Thai, and Vietic. There's even new Eastern and Pagan faiths added, such as Kambuja Devaraja, which is new Hindu faith which Javaraman is the head of, of which he seems to be the most powerful starting character with the Kingdom of Kambuja. Just want to say if my pronunciation is off I'm really sorry. And for the Pagan faith we have Batak, which makes cannibal a virtue. So hey, if you ever wanted to take over Indonesia by eating people, well this might be your mod. I'm not going to go into loads and loads of detail about every single thing in this mod. I'm sure you get the gist of this mod by now. So I'm just going to mention a few things that they're planning to add in the future. They're going to add a 1066 start date, which I'm excited to see how much things change from the current 867 start date. A tributary system, which was sort of like a system in China that managed relations and trade. And with this new system, you're going to have new interactions with China. A new event chain for Vietnamese independence. This is what I'm really looking forward to. This is probably going to make some great playthroughs. Also, the rest of Indonesia into Papua New Guinea that's left blank, that's going to be filled in with even more kingdoms and rulers. They also mentioned wanting to add cultural appropriate clothing, which I think would be really cool. It'd be nice if there was some sort of optional update to community flavor pack that could work with this mod, add in such clothing, but I got no idea if that could actually happen or not. Overall, I think this mod is incredible. It adds so much to the original map without having a separate map just for this mod. There's so many cool playthroughs made possible with this and it's definitely something at least worth checking out. See what you think. If you've already played it or decided to check it out after this video, be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Or if you have another mod you'd like to see me check out, feel free to suggest that too. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.